Welcome to the Can-Am Crew YouTube channel. In this epic adventure, we're hitting the road for 40 days and traveling for over 7,000 miles to ride some of the most amazing trail systems the U.S. has to offer. From Alabama to Utah to South Dakota and many, many more, we're going to be in over 20 states to ride some of the most scenic, wild trails that we can find. It's not all going to be about riding, though. We'll stop along the way at places like the Cadillac Ranch, the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, the Devil's Tower, and Mount Rushmore. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime, and we're extremely excited to share it with you on our YouTube videos. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you out on the trail. Okay. Day, what day is this? Is this day 14? 15. I think it's 15. 15? Day 15? Can we confirm? No. We're going to be back. We're going to confirm. Okay. Confirmed. Day 15. Day 15 of our 40 day trip starts at Hogs Barbecue <laughs> in Seminole, Oklahoma, right? Yes. Okay. I think I said that right. I think so. I don't know. It, it smells really good out here. We're going to go over here. We're going to eat lunch. I'll let you know what it's like and then we're gonna head to Crossbar which is in Davis, Oklahoma I think and how far is that from here? Uh, just, over an just over an hour so we'll let you know if this place is worth eating at it smells really good looks delicious and you can't go wrong with some barbecue Okay, Hogs Barbecue. Some of the best barbecue I've ever eaten, ever. Seminole, Oklahoma. If you're near the area and you haven't been here, check it out. I had the ribs, Sherry had the brisket, Emma had chicken, Cooper had corn dogs, Scott had the beans. Everything was phenomenal. Everything was delicious. Right, Coop? How are your corn dogs? <laughs> AC's like on top of my mind. <laughs> AC. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one hour, 29 minutes until we get to Crossbar. And then we'll be able to get set up and go out and check it out. We're pretty excited for Crossbar. I've seen a lot of videos, never been there. Actually, never been to any of these places. So you'll probably hear me say that a lot. But we're out of here. We'll see you across the board. Okay, we got wild cactuses happening. This was one of the things I wanted to see. So exciting. I don't know what that other weird looking plant is. That's how you can tell we're from the northeast. We don't have cactuses. <laughs> Not in the wild. We're going to have to watch where we step. It's like seeing wild horses, but wild cacti. Now I just don't want to run into one. All right, we are set up at our camp spots at Crossbar. Got checked in, got our passes. 20 a day, Sherry. 20 a day for adults, 10 a day for kids, for riding passes. Four spots, five and six nice concrete pad that you're supposed to put your trailer on however i pulled in scott backed in so we could face each other water and electric they have a dump station over here just got set up we're gonna head out um, it's already a little bit later in the evening so we're gonna try to get some riding in today and then hopefully tomorrow we'll meet up with slew crew ride with them they're gonna show us around a little bit to uh all the the go-to good spots so We'll be probably to be doing two videos here, one today, one tomorrow. And um, this is the road that you drive on, and it's probably two miles long, almost, I think, exactly two miles from where you register to where the campground is. The dump station is up here. They got water and electric all up here, really nice, up on top of the mountain. Got the windmills over there to look at, which are pretty cool because years and years ago, I actually used to build windmill blades. For a company so it's kind of i mean i kind of know the process it's kind of cool to see them so 
we are headed out onto the trail we're gonna go see what we can find and um that's coming up next what are you doing in here mom wants me to ride with you oh uh, are you being a brat face no why do i need that why do i get her <laughs> right here you got you gonna be my navigator yeah okay i'll let you hold on to my phone too okay, okay you good yep. are you sure these things are still dirty so the deal is when when someone rides with me it's it's their responsibility to wash the machines after the ride no thank you it's you're, your machine but you're the passenger that's what that's the deal but i'm not the one getting it dirty you're getting it dirty but i'm getting it dirty for you so you can enjoy the ride do I have to get it dirty to enjoy the ride, though? Well, yeah, you can't ride on dirt trails without getting well, it dirty. Well, rocks aren't, like, rocks don't get you muddy. You let her know. Passengers always always have to do the, the washing after the ride. Let her know in the comments. First ride at Crossbar in Oklahoma. going to be on the list I think. Wheeler Peak, Goat and Bus. What is Goat? I have no idea. Let's go look for them. The scenery here is so much different. It's all these, I don't know, what are they called? Shrubs? Yeah, they're like bushy. Shrubs and cactus, cacti. Cacti for floral, right? Yeah, I believe so. Not cactuses. Right? I think so. Okay. Lots of cacti. Sherry was snapping a bunch of pictures of them because we've never seen cactus before. Cacti. Not in the wild anyway. We are on a trail called Goat and I'd say we're about halfway through now and we came to this little section here uh, it's all kind of slanted some big rocks intertwined in there I guess it's all solid rock but some ledges and everything like that I think I'm gonna try to pick this line there's also a way out around it uh, if you wanted to go out around but this looks like a cool obstacle and me for reference uh, I'd say to the top, you're probably looking at seven or eight feet all the way to the top. I think it'll be a good one. I'm going to try to come up through here and see how this works out. And I don't know what are, what other lines everyone else is going to take, but we'll be back with this one. All right, Jesse's up. Let's see what happens. enough throttle. Well done. Alright, Cherry's up now. I think it's possible. Yeah, I'll fill that way out first. yeah, you can pull up her and I can tell you what it looks like. The 
back tire fell. That was close. That was close. Maybe come over this way some more. Guys, I'll get you a different side view here. Nicely done. Okay. Scott's up. 35 zills. 72 inch machine I think he's gonna pick a little bit different line maybe in the middle maybe put a tire in that in that hole yeah your passenger tire That looks better. If you want to do that line, you'll have to be that way a little bit more. Your back tire hit that rock and kicked you. I'll just go way up. Okay.
this looks pretty cool. Good drop off there too. Yeah. Oh, is this really a lookout? Cool. Yeah. What do you think of the train so far? It's, it's wild. Yeah. The rock is kind of just like the rock at Disney, but it, there's more dirt around it. Yes. It seems, does the rock seem slick to you? Which, which I just told Giona, like yeah, I'll spin, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden I'll just grab traction. Yeah. I noticed myself spinning on the rock, which was Zillow's on the east coast. When you're on rock, they usually don't spin. Yeah, very, very rarely yeah. do you spin. But here, it just seems like it's. I'll spin a little bit. Smooth. I'll slide one way or the other, yeah. and then it'll and grab. then all of a sudden it just goes. It's yeah. weird. pointed up see how the water runs down that comes down this way and then shoots back that way Waterfall climb here. Sherry's gonna take on. There's a lot of really cool obstacles here. Not as slick as I thought it was gonna be. All right, we circled back around on Onion Patch. Um, so we could hit these ledges here. Um, Jesse's up first, then Sherry, then me. I may, Jesse's going this way for sure, up through all these 
ledges. Um, if Sherry goes the same way, I might take that route. We'll see. But Jesse's up. Let's see what happens. Maybe try to come in that way a little bit more and then turn this way. Ooh, baby. Dang. It's, it's way harder than I thought it was going to be. I don't even know what to tell you to do now, buddy. Yeah, it's a good one. up there buddy you know what if you're going to take that line I would come over here maybe to we'll say take the cheater line I hit that I kept bellying out Sherry's gonna fill it out see what she thinks it might just take a full send which I didn't want to do on the first day but Sherry usually doesn't care about that so we'll see how she feels Just don't. Uh, okay. Wow. I think that probably would have went if you hit it harder, but it's hard to say. Is that plastic off? Yeah, you ripped it out again. Okay. I'll just go the other way. All right. She's going around as well. Low bump. That rock is slick. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, my tires are all wet now too. That yeah. Pole. Yeah, she just drove, drove right over that tree root. All right, I think Scott's gonna try this with his 35s. He might have a little bit better chance of not bellying. We're thinking the 35s might help him here. This might be one of those cases where the 35s definitely make a big difference and a, a good difference. So we'll see. I think, I think he'll be okay. send from there yeah 
All right, hold on. What's the matter? She can't find her phone. We'll just make sure it's not under you first. Okay. The little bump she took knocked her phone out of the holder and it went under her seat. We're good. Okay. That looked good. All right, well, we'll find out. I mean, it, it didn't it didn't belly when you rolled into it, but maybe when you bump it. Oh, it, it's, it's going to belly before. But you had you had probably an inch or two above you, so. But I, I think I think you might have enough tire. What's that? I think you might have enough tire to get you over it. Let's see. Oh. That was so close. He bellied really bad too. I didn't think he would. You're good. I'll give it one more shot. Okay. One more shot, he says. I think he'll get it. I think he's got it. there was you rode your front tires over the dip so yeah. you just you just kind of skipped it that's a whole different animal with that new diff and better axles in it coming to market soon This looks like a fun place. I've seen some bounties here, or races, people going up this stuff. I've seen some videos. Looks like a lot of fun. I think we're gonna find a couple lines. I think we're gonna play on a couple. All right. We're down here, I believe is called Rock Face. And there's just there's just a bunch of climbs down here, little stream. Um, Jesse's going to hit the most right one. If you're standing on this side of the creek, it's this one right here. I don't know if it has a specific name. I'm not sure, but uh, Jesse's buckling up. He's getting ready. So let's see what happens. Y'all, buddy. All right, here's another one over here.
nice job. Okay, Scott's up. That one over there that I just did felt a little bit, felt a little uneasy, but it it went up it. This one, I just wanted to see how slick it was. Usually something like this steep, you could probably do in two wheel drive on on our rock back east, but this rock's pretty slick. So I'd imagine if there's a little bit of water on there, it'd be a different story. Zillers are still doing, Zillers are still doing work on that. Not bad. The way this machine crunches, it sounds like he's running over like cans. <laughs> From it? his radius yeah. rods. <laughs> okay, Scott's back down. He's gonna try this one over here. See how this one feels. It's a little bit steeper, or a little bit steeper, a little bit more off camber in spots. <laughs> different ball game when the, when it gets wet a slick one that's a cool picture definitely a cool picture what's up dad hey what are you doing <laughs> getting a haircut <laughs> <laughs> what's up everyone we are back at camp it's been a little bit since we've been on camera got a video that i'm editing here should be able to get you another one here in a couple days but we're gonna call this video quits here we're gonna head out bright and early in the morning and we got another got a couple more guys coming to show us around they know all the good spots so We'll be sure to get you some good stuff tomorrow. I know Hell's Gate is on the list of things to hit tomorrow. I know that one's a, a pretty popular one here, so we would like to get that one on the channel. So definitely stick around. We'll get we'll get some good content for you tomorrow. I'll fly the drone tomorrow, and we'll get that for you because when we got back, I, I completely lost track of time, forgot about it, and then it got too dark. So. We'll fly the drone tomorrow. I'll get you some cool drone shots um, in tomorrow's video. A couple days for you, two or three days for you guys. So definitely stick around. Huge shout out to our channel members, our sponsors, our patrons up on the screen. Thanks to you guys for watching these videos and uh, watching our ads, helping provide us with the uh, the means to be able to come out here and take a 40 day, 7,000 mile trip around the country. Uh, you guys play a huge role in us being able to come out here and do this so definitely huge thanks to you guys it's we're out here living the dream right now riding somewhere new every couple of days so we're gonna be here all day tomorrow we'll get you some good stuff to watch tomorrow i'm sure so tune in in a few days hit that subscribe button for us let's let's see if we can get this channel going a little bit more maybe hit 15 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year that would be amazing but we'll see you in the next one